Bruce, I'm going to take you for a quick cruise around the lagoon. I know, terrible joke. Now, bit of safety, nothing outside the boat. This includes hands, cameras, selfie sticks, spouses, little children. This is not the place, right guys? Now, if anything happens to myself, my radio is going to be up here on the dash. Works like any old radio, press the black button, have a talk to admissions. They'll then send another boat driver down to finish your tour. If that doesn't work, you've got an air horn down to my left. Please aim it towards the front, not the back. If you do that, you'll deafen everyone on here. Now, last but not least, <laughs> bit of croc proof rope. Now, the crocs have been taught not to go past that line if they ever jump aboard. So you're safe behind there. I'm in the danger zone. Feeling safe now, guys? Oh, absolutely. Good. <laughs> Alrighty. So this is our man-made lagoon. Took about eight years to create it. And before this, it used to be all horse paddocks. It was even a hippie camp at one point. They did have a plantation, but don't worry, we disposed of that responsibly. Probably why it took eight years to create it. <laughs> now the look we went after for this lagoon was a Melaleuca wetland, also known as your paper bark trees or your weeping tea trees. Now you'll see these sort of environments for crocodiles up north, especially in the Northern Territory in Northern Western Australia. Now we house 30 saltwater crocodiles in this lagoon, eight males and 22 females. Lucky boys, right? <laughs> the reason we do this you can't house too much testosterone in one area, it's a bad outcome. This goes across all species, including our road. Too many fights break out. Now we do house one big male in here, he's got the name of Zont. He's actually sitting right there. <laughs> that's Zont, that's our 4.3 meter crocker, and he also weighs around 400 kilos. Oh, now Zont, he was caught up in 1981 down south of Cairns and Tully, and he was actually a cattle killer. He was actually killing cattle off the family called the Zont, so that's how he got his name. Now that white scar that runs down the middle of his back, what we believed happened with that scar was when he got caught up in the wild, rangers were supposed to come out the same day to remove him, but there was a cyclone coming along. So they decided to leave him in that trap for about two days, and he was getting dashed around in that trap during the cyclone and also death rolling in it as well. But besides that scar, he came out completely unharmed. Now we're also not allowed to feed on top of the boat. If we did that, he'll go straight through one of these windows, turn from a croc adventure to an extreme croc adventure. You guys will all get a good selfie with them as well. Now, do we think this water is fresh water or salt water, guys? Salt, salt, fresh. fresh. It is all fresh water. Crocodiles, they do prefer fresh water conditions over salt water. Actually, an estimated 75% of all wild saltwater crocodiles will never see salt water in their lifetime. Now, you know freshwater crocodiles? They can also go into salt water. What it is, is we're just terrible at naming our crocodiles. Now, there's usually a big male crocodile that likes to hang around near this bulrush over here. Now, he's got the name of Dwayne. Dwayne the Croc Johnson. <laughs> we also usually have another crocodile that lives in the lagoon, but no one usually gets to see him. His name's John Cena. Now this small little crocodile right here, this is Dynamite. Oh, she just went under the water. Our Dynamite got her name. She's a very explosive crocodile that she wants to be. That one over there that was hiding behind that bulrush over there, she's got the name of Random. How she got her name, she randomly appeared in this lagoon. None of us keepers know how she got in here. We even did a full lagoon check, checked all our fence lining, there was no signs of break in entry. But she wasn't a bad crocodile, so we decided to leave her in here, and she's been very good ever since. Now this little thing over here, this is our spillway. The reason we have this is because there's no uh, natural flowing rivers into this lagoon, so we need to um, let all the flood water go out somewhere into Tin Creek, uh, Tin Creek is the creek that flows through the middle of Hartleys. You'll probably have seen it uh, down at the cassowaries or going over into Gondwana. Um, now that will just flow out into Tin Creek. Uh, and we also get fish jumping up through that spillway, making this their new home. Now there's usually a female crocodile that likes to sit up on that bank over there. Now her name's Barrigal. Now her and her mate decided to break into Innisfail's Barramundi farm started eating all their barramundi. 
weren't very popular, so they got arrested, put in here. When we first got them, they were pretty chunky crocodiles. Now, if you guys are looking for somewhere to stay tonight, we're actually coming across our free camping grounds. Now, one of our females, she's the groundskeeper of this area. She might cost you an arm or a leg to stay. Too late for dad jokes. <laughs> so this is actually a nesting area for this female right here. If you have a look behind those trees, you'll see a massive mound of leaf litter and dirt. That's her nest. Now it's not currently active. The nesting season has already ended, but during the wet season, once she finds a mate, she'll create that mound even higher up with her hind legs. She'll then create an egg chamber in the middle, then lay 40 to 60 eggs on average in that chamber. She'll then cover it back up and the decomposition will incubate her eggs. Because she can't sit on the nest, she's about 100 kilos of full crocodile. Probably make a bit of scrambled eggs instead. Alrighty guys, shall we try and feed her? Yes. Yeah, alrighty. Now I'll be feeding on both sides today guys, so if I start on your side, please stay seated. The other side can jump up, have a look. Just please don't come rushing to one side, I don't feel like ending up as croc food today. Second guys, we'll get into a better position. Alrighty. See if she wants any food. Well, Do you want it, mate? You just gotta look at it. She was like, mmm, that's chicken. I don't want it though. Mm. Oh, look at her. Oh. Give that back, mate. There's one coming down over there, Bubba. Alright, we'll get a couple more jumps on this side, guys, and then I'll head to the other side and get a couple jumps over there. Now it looks like I'm teasing her, doesn't it? When I jump her around, don't give her the food. It's because I am. But it's to give them a bit of exercise. These boats come around every 30 minutes. The crocodiles, they do get the food most of the time, so they are pretty well fed crocodiles. So jumping them around just gives them that exercise so they don't become lazy or unhealthy as well. We also don't want a bunch of lip crocodiles sitting around here. You guys can go to Australia Zoo to see that. <laughs> <Chip shot. laughs> Alright, we'll get one last uh, jump out of her and then I'll head to the other side, guys. Should I give her the food? Yeah. yeah. No, bugger out. <laughs> Alrighty. See if we can get a crocodile on this side. I'll just get you sitting down on this side, sorry. Sorry. So everyone on the other side can have a look, it's all good. Oh, hello, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I think I just signed my name in my pants. Oh, this is actually Barry Girl. Ruby, help the GoPro up there, darling. Come on. There's also another female crocodile just sit, sitting in all those little cottonwood trees over there. Hopefully she'll come over because she is one of my favourite crocodiles. <laughs> How do you tell them apart? I can't. You guys believe whatever I say. <laughs> <laughs> now I can tell some Good of the answer. crocodiles apart. They usually sit in the same spots each day. They also have distinct features on their body, like scars, missing parts of their body as well. By that female in the cottonwood at the moment, she got into a fight with a male crocodile when she was younger. He grabbed her on the head, took out her eye. Her name's Igon. 
<laughs> she didn't see it coming. She had no idea. Carter sucks. <laughs> No, no, keep going. I want to go. Where's the rocky? Oh, she got some. Oh, I hear that. Is she? Yeah, she ain't here no more. <laughs> Alright, a couple more jumps, guys. Oh, she, it doesn't matter, she just flicked all the chicken off. <laughs> Let me just string up a bit more and we'll try and get a couple more jumps. Yeah. Any questions while I do this? I can't keep holding it. What? I can't get there to see it, Ruby. I'll just go with these questions up here. Oh, um, water, um, will There's they, two. Um, see the chicken and eat it in the water? Uh, they won't see it, but uh, the smell of the chicken will actually, because it will sink to the bottom of the lagoon. And it will actually, all the There's smells will right come there. to the top of the water. They'll sniff around, go right on top of it, and then sink straight down and find the food. So they've really, they've got a really good sense of smell, and uh, and they can find their food really easily. What was your question, sorry? It's about three meters deep in the middle of the lagoon, so it's enough room for these guys to submerge and cool off. What was your question, mate? How much crocodiles is there? Sorry, I'll just go with this uh, little girl right here. How old is it? How old is what, sorry? Um, the crocodile is feeding right now. How old is the crocodile I was feeding right now? Yeah. Um, honestly, I have no idea. <laughs> Don't know all the crocodiles and the ages in this lagoon, especially the large male crocodiles. Um, but the females, they average, they're around probably 13 to around 36 years of age, the females. Uh, yeah. What was Ringer's Western Hat? Go ahead, buddy. Um, how much crocodiles are in this water? So there's 30 crocodiles in here, 8 males and 22 females. Uh -huh. Go ahead, mate. Do you have a question? Um, so how old is the biggest crocodile? How old is the biggest crocodile? Um, we don't actually know his age because he was a wild caught crocodile. So we don't have accurate records on him. But we believe he's around anywhere between 70 to 80 years of age. So he is a pretty old crocodile. But yeah, we don't know how old he actually is. Come on, buddy, the food's right next to your head. What are these 